Egyptian unit fractions. The question here is, can you write every fraction as a sum of unit fractions? Well, Egyptians came out with this brilliant idea of writing every fraction as sum of unit fractions. And we'll explore now how we can do it. First, let's understand what are these unit fractions. So unit fractions are fractions like 1 over 2, 1 over 3, 1 over 4, 1 over 5, and so on, like 1 over n, right? So n could be any number. So fractions like this, which you can also say reciprocal of a number, right? Are basically unit fractions. They're called unit fractions because the numerator is 1. Denominator can be any number, right? So that is what the unit fractions are. Now, Egyptians came up with a brilliant idea of writing every fraction whatsoever in terms of unit fraction. And that's kind of very funny and interesting. So let's explore how. First, I will show you how to write even a unit fraction as a combination of unit fraction, right? That is going to give us more light on this topic, right? So let's say half. Now half I have to write as sum of these unit fraction. You will observe that half actually is the greatest unit fraction. You see, greatest proper unit fraction. Well, we also have one number here, which is like 1 over 1, right? So this is also a unit fraction, but this unit fraction is kind of special. And let me write this, and this is improper unit fraction, right? This is improper unit fraction. And all these are proper unit fractions. Right? Since the denominator is higher than the numerator, they are proper fractions, right? So the name, improper unit fraction is 1, okay? So, and others are all proper unit fraction. Reciprocal of 1 is 1, right? Makes sense. Now let's see if we can write half as a combination of unit fractions. Well, the number less than half is 1 over 3. So it has to be 1 over 3 plus something, right? And what is that something? That something should be half minus 1 over 3, of course. So let's figure it out. So that something should be half minus 1 over 3. And that is, we'll take common denominator, multiply, cross multiply, which is 6 and 3 minus 1. 3 minus 2, right? 3 minus 2. So we'll multiply this by 3 and this by 2. So we get 3 minus 2, which is 1 over 6. So I can write half as equals to 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6, correct? So I can write half, which is itself a unit fraction, as sum of two other unit fractions. Do you see that? That's interesting. Can I do that with all of them? Let me check. Now this time, let me try with 1 third, right? So 1 third could be written as, next lower is 1 fourth. 1 fourth plus something, right? What that something should be. We can figure it out, 1 third minus 1 fourth, same policy. So we get 1 third minus 1 fourth, common denominator is 12, right? And we get 4 minus 3, which is 1 over 12. And so we get here, this combination should be 1 over 12. So we get our answer, very good. How about 1 over 4 itself? So 1 over 4 could be written as, next number, 1 over 5 plus plus what? It should be 1 over 4 minus 1 over 5. That means multiply these by 5, these by 4. So we get 20 and 5 minus 4, which is 1 over 20. So we get this as 1 over 20. And we get our answer. Wow, that is extremely interesting. How about 1 over n? That is kind of difficult. You will observe 1 over 2 gives me 1 over 3, 1 over 2 is 1 over 3, 1 over 3 is 1 over 4, 1 more than this number. Let's go with the pattern. So it should be 1 over n plus 1 plus. Now what should I get here? That's a huge question. What I can do is 
I can do 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 1. Oh, that's so difficult. What to do to get this number? Easy way is, how do you get 12? 3 times 4. How do you get 6? 2 times 3 is 6 and 4 times 5 is 20. So that means this should be n times n plus 1. Let me write that down. That should be my answer. Is it right or wrong? You should check it out. Okay? And then let me know if it works, right? So try out how to write all these unit fractions as combination of other unit fractions. Correct? Last video coming up for you. And we will do any other fraction with more than two numbers as their sum. Okay? Thank you and all the best.